Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to contribute to this, uh, the motion that has been raised by Honorable Matenge. I want to appreciate the fact that uh, and it has come at the right time when Kenyans are looking for any way possible to get food on their table, any way possible to pay their bills, to pay school fees and all that. And Mr. Speaker, when you talk of betting, gambling, lottery and all that, it is something that personally I don't believe. Being a Christian, I want to quote what the Bible says in 1 Timothy 16 that says that the love of money is the root of all evil. This tells us that people would want to have easy money, to get money in a very simple way, in a very easy way, and they're not only getting money, somebody putting 10 shillings, 50 shillings, and they are expecting to get hundreds, millions, and even uh, thousands. Mr. Speaker, this one has a very much negative impact on our society. Uh, I have very many examples, Mr. Speaker, back in Gericho. I, rem I remember this one of Lotto that came so strongly and many women left their houses very early in the morning, go and do the same petting, missed it, and then when they get back home, they were beaten. I know of a very close neighbor of mine. I had to go and rescue her. I told the husband, please don't chase her away. She was being chased to her home because of that. I talked with her. She's able to do many other things, but she concentrated on that, losing a lot of money. Some even left their children not to cook for them. Lunch time is there. They are still very busy petting. And uh, you can imagine the impact of that. One lady, Mr. Speaker, used 20,000 of school fees, I believe, for that. But when she was asked, she said, I lost them. I don't know who came to the house and stole from me. But when we looked at it critically, it was out of this petting, Mr. Speaker. So this has caused a lot of acony among many. And people have not used the God-given opportunities of working in the farms, doing business, and doing uh, empowerment of any form. But instead, they look for easy money. To me, I look at it as robbery with no violence. The people who have this business, I don't know how much tax they pay. As much as I'm um, reading that and there are regulations that are to be put in place by KRA so that 15% um, tax on betting, I don't know when implementation of this will be done. And then maybe 20% withhold from the winners. So this one has not taken any, uh, any form. And I must say that before even we talk of that, we have to look at the social and the economic impact of this. We understand the cost of living is high. We understand that people look for any means of getting money. But now, people have to work for the same. Betting is very addictive. And when people don't gain from it, what happens is that they get depressed, others talk of migraine headache, they are distressed, and all the anxieties or anxiety-related problems come to them. And I would say that this one, the government should, in, in a serious note, look at how to regulate. We've talked about the stations, radio, radio stations, TV stations, that every day they are advertising on the same. I was in one of the stations some times back, and when I was talking about the youth, what, how the youth are actually, got, uh, how they have gone astray. I mentioned this, betting as one of them. 
But whoever was in the station looked at me seriously and then I withdrew because I knew my time will be, I, I, I actually knew I will not have time even to conclude whatever I was saying. When I asked later, I was told this is where we get uh, pay, this is where we get something, but I wonder how my tax they pay out of this. So I would actually say that regulations concerning the same should be put in place. And then um, to add on that, Mr. Speaker, I should also say that um, school children should not be allowed to do the same. It should be regulated on what time uh, petting starts and for what purpose and how um, people can do it in a fair way. People call it it's a jackpot and some get a lot of money. As I do say that I'm not in support of the same, I also acknowledge that there are people who have actually benefited from the same. I know of one person who actually got 200 million. Of course, he became a millionaire in a day. But he used the, the money, I believe, positively. But now, I don't know how much tax he paid out of it. But imagining one person out of uh, millions of Kenyans or hundreds and thousands, only one person benefit from the same. So I would say that as this house, we have to take it seriously and I, I request the member who has brought it on the floor to take it into the next level so that it is not only a motion, it can be a bill and that is how it can carry, uh, it can actually be regulated. Children have dropped out of school, others have poor performance because of waste of time. I know of children who have also been beaten. Reason, their domestic uh, work has not been done because they go out to do the same. And families have broken. Parents have been stolen from by their children and others still from others. So I want to support this motion in a very strong way and say that um, we should look more into it and I request the member to go deeper into that and bring it in as a, as a bill uh, and we will support it. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to contribute to the same. Thank you.